Hi there. Today we're going to be making a paper circuit valentine card, very much like this one. Uh, it's a nice valentine card that when you push down and complete a circuit on the battery, a light bulb that comes through the center will light up, um, wishing whoever you give this to a very happy Valentine's Day, and it's very fun to make. So This is a free project I've got on my website. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it comes with a PDF. You can print this up. It has uh, I recommend on cardstock to make it a little thicker. There's a, a mark indicated for where you're going to want to cut out. Uh, I recommend just using like a, an X-Acto knife, or if you have a hole punch that can get to the middle of the card, that would be great too. The inside of the card is marked with uh, guidelines, and you're going to need some copper tape. This is what's going to conduct the electricity through our circuit. You're going to need a coin cell battery. I have a CR1620 here, but you could also use a CR20. You know, as long as it's a three volt battery, that's what is usually recommended with these LED lights. And then you're going to need an LED as well. I've chosen red because it's Valentine's Day. All right, so I've got one that I've kind of started through here. I've pre-cut the hole already, and you can see that when we fold it over, the marking inside on the guideline that shows where the light bulb comes out lines up just perfectly when you fold it over on that line. And I put a little bit of tape down already. Um, so we're going to just complete this circuit here. I'm going to walk through uh, how to put this together. I've done the, the top and the side coming around here, so we're just going to follow along. This copper tape uh, has a paper backing and it's very sticky on one side. So we'll follow these guidelines. And then the trick for the corner, um, you want a continuous line on your circuit. The electrons have a much easier time going through this if there's a continuous path. So instead of breaking it and just applying it on top, uh, overlapping it, what I like to do is uh, do kind of a double fold. So I'm going to fold it backwards like so, and then fold it over on top of itself and continue down the path. And that way, we've not broken the circuit, and we have a good path, um, a continuous path for our electrons to flow through. Uh, so when we have the battery on top, they're going to flow. The goal is they flow through, uh, through the copper tape, they will pass through our LED, pass around, and when this folds over, this line will connect to the top of the battery, and our light will light up. So to connect the battery, I take a, a little piece of tape and I just roll it over on top of itself so that all sides are sticky. It doesn't have to be neat and pretty because uh, it's going to get covered up by the battery. So we're just going to put that right on top of the other tape over our mark for where the battery should go. And then we want to make sure that the positive side is facing up that's the way that we have uh, the legs of the LED configured. So we're going to take the negative side of the battery, that's the textured side. It's not marked usually with a negative side. Uh, the top is marked with a positive, the negative side is just uh, textured. And we're going to apply that right on top of our fold, so it'll be stuck to the card. Uh, LED, once again, this has to be coordinated positive and negative. And you can probably see that one leg of the LED is a little bit longer than the other one. That is our positive leg, and we want to make sure that this lines up correctly. Uh, so these legs are very bendable. Make sure you know which one is the positive leg, because it's harder to tell when they're spread out. So we're going to divide these out and put them right on top of where that red marker would go so that it will pop out the top. And then I just like to... Uh, secure them down with another piece of tape. So the, the leg is on top of our previous tape. We're going to put wedge it down really well with another piece of tape so that we can keep a good circuit. I'll do that on both sides. Line that up and connect. All right, and now's the test. We're going to close our card and it lights up perfectly. 
beautiful Valentine's Day message and a very fun project for kids to teach about circuitry.